In this tutorial, I want to show you strap press, which is my starter theme with currently a bootstrap 4. Um, if you've been following me for a bit, you know that I build uh, premium WordPress themes with bootstrap and material design and pretty much any other UI kits and frameworks that I can get my hands on. I like to use a base framework, so it gives me some base styling for my themes. So for example, this is a strap strap press. I have some older versions of strap press that use um, you know bootstrap three. That was very popular when it first came out and still one of my most popular themes. But bootstrap four is about to roll out. It's currently in alpha, but I've already started to develop uh, this free currently WordPress starter theme with bootstrap four. So it is over on uh, github dot com slash brag interactive strap press in this video I want to download it with you and uh, show you what you can do with it so this is what it's going to look like once you download and install you can see it's pretty minimal but it's a great starting point if you're going to build a premium theme with with WordPress and bootstrap so let's get started so I'm going to go over to my github page and I'm just going to download it you can also do this with the command line which if you're going to use this theme I recommend learning the command line I'm going to go over it a bit in this tutorial it's not hard to use don't be scared to use it when I was first started development I didn't really like the command line but now it's the only thing I want to use so just get used to it watch some of these videos and in no time you'll be using it just as easy as I am alright so let's download the zip there we go downloaded I'm going to unzip this package here we go and you'll see inside here that it's um, all the theme files for this theme so you can rename it you know if you're gonna build a theme out of this I recommend obviously changing strap press all the text domains inside of it and vice versa we may go over that in a later tutorial but now that I have this I'm gonna put it into my development uh, folder so you can see what it's all about so there we have it now if I go into my dashboard Appearance, themes. You see here that I have strap press. We can activate it. Uh, reload the front end here. And there we have it. Pretty simple. Has the post lined up, widget area, the menu, the logo area. You can click into the post. You know, see, see the single page. It also has a sample page. If you go into the uh, appearance menus, you see here that it has a primary menu location where you can set up your menu like up here so that's if uh, you just want to use strap press out of the box without customizing it you can go ahead and use it as is you know make minor changes to the files if you want but if you're going to make a, a theme out of this maybe for a client or you're starting a premium WordPress theme I recommend uh, digging into it a little bit more so this is where we're going to you know start managing the themes and customizing a bit so I'm gonna open up my command line start a new tab here I'm gonna CD into this directory here hit enter so now I'm in this directory in my command line I'm also going to open up this in my text editor here and what we're going to do is start downloading all the node packages and all the dependencies we need for this theme in order to customize it. So this is pretty cool kind of modern way to develop using Node and Gulp and Bower and things like that. So the first thing we want to do is run npm install which is a command for Node and what that's going to do is look at our package.json file and install all these Gulp dependencies that we're going to use. So if this doesn't make sense kind of just follow along and I'll get to some main points so it kind of all fits together. So here we go, we're going to npm install. To run this command, you need to make sure that you have node installed. So node.js. Go here, you know, and just download it for whatever operating, your syst operating system you're on, and you should be good to go. You're also going to want to install gulp. So go in here, get started, you know, and run these commands. See, it says npm right there, so you need to make sure that node's installed on your computer before 
you install Gulp. So I'll go over Gulp as well here in a second, but as you can see here, this npm install is installing all these packages. So if you notice in the um, repository, I don't have this node underscore modules. It's not in here. When I ran this npm install, it's actually running through that package.json like I mentioned, and it's installing all these packages that I need for development. And I recommend if you're familiar with Git or any kind of code version control, I recommend that you uh, ignore you know, your node modules. You don't want to put all these node modules on your development or your production server because, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. All right, now that we have all of our node modules installed, we can now start using Gulp. So Gulp is an awesome tool. Um, people were using Grunt for a while. It seems like they're moved to Gulp, and now they're not even using Gulp anymore, or some people aren't. They're just using NPM commands to do a lot of these things. But I still enjoy using Gulp. There's a lot of cool tasks that you can run, and that I'll, I'll show you here in a second. So now that we have again all of our node modules installed we can start using gulp commands so this is our gulp file and these are all the tasks and I'll go over this probably in, in the next tutorial of all these different tasks but what I want to do is install my Bower component so I have a task in my gulp file that will install all my Bower components and Bower if you go to Bower is what it says, a package manager for the web. So this is a easy way to install your front end dependencies like, like jQuery, Bootstrap, and whatever else you want to use on your front end. So let's install these things here pretty easily. So what I can do here is you can see in my Bower, in my gulp file I have this task called Bower. So what I can do is run gulp Bower and you'll see right up in here, it'll start installing everything that I have in my bower.json file. So my bower.json, I have Bootstrap and Font Awesome. So you see here in my Bower components, I have Bootstrap and I have Font Awesome, and it also includes jQuery and Tether, which is a uh, Bootstrap 4 dependency. So as you can see, that was pretty easy. With one command, I installed Bootstrap Font Awesome. I didn't have to go out to their website. I didn't have to you know, download the files and manually put it into my theme. It's just, bam, it's already here. So I have Bootstrap, all of Bootstrap, all the new SAS files of Bootstrap in my theme. Pretty sweet. So if I go to my SAS file, this is already included in the starter theme. You go to style.scss. You can see here that I'm importing Bootstrap. And now it's going to be looking at this bootstrap file. And the way that I imported this bootstrap is again in my gulp file. You can see here that I define the path to the things that I'm looking for. I'm looking for bootstrap. I'm looking for font awesome. This config.bower directory it's a global variable that I set up here, config.bower directory, and you can see here that it's dot slash bower components, which would mean this this directory right here. So this might all you know sound like gibberish to you and you know it's kinda all over the place, but where the real magic happens it happens is when you start running gulp. And again, I'll go over what all these gulp these different gulp things do in the next tutorial. But let's customize. Let's, I mean, let's do something to customize this theme. What we want to do in our command is just run gulp. And if you just run gulp, you see here that in this default task, which means if you just run gulp, that's the default task. What it's going to do is going to do a watch in this Bower sync. And so you look at watch, and this is the gulp task for watch. And the browser sync is this task up here. So if you notice, when I ran gulp, it automatically set up a local dev environment for me. And it, 
you saw that it opened up this page for me as well. You can see that my uh, the local URL is that. See up here, localhost 3002. What's also cool about this is you can open up this exter external URL on like your mobile phone, and you can view your development site on your mobile phone, so you can look so you can see what it looks like on your mobile device. So if you're testing, you know, mobile friendliness and whatever else, it's very slick. All right, so now that we have um, Gulp running over here, it's going to be looking at any changes that we make in our SAS file. So for example, we can go in here, colors, have all the, the default colors, we can make some changes. We go to bootstrap, SAS, variables. You can see all the different variables that you can change pretty easily. So let's change some things. Let's look for maybe the link text or something. So link color it's using the variable brand primary so brand primary is up here it's blue so I mean I could grab a link color copy that and in my SAS files since I'm trying to customize bootstrap a little bit go into you know variables or something paste that in there let's make the link color black save that you can see that my gulp file is automatically running it refreshed my page for me and absolutely nothing happened that's probably because um, in my gulp file what's running this live browser sync is looking at the wrong proxy and I'll go over this in the next video when I'm talking about my gulp file but you can see here the proxy is set to look at SP8888 which in my MAMP Pro is this proxy here so I'm actually running on help colon 8888 so with those changes I obviously need to stop with the uh, control Z gulp and then run it again so it sees my changes in my gulp file alright notice every time that uh, gulp restarts it gives me another URL so this one is no longer good for me so here it is, and now let's go try to make that change. In the var, let's do the link color, command S to save that. You can see that the gulp file ran, and if you look at the front end of the site, we now have different colored links. So, I mean, you can go through the Bower, uh, Bootstrap, S, CSS, go down here to the variables. You can see that there's tons of things that you can change, you know, pretty easily and override them in your WordPress theme. So this still might not make sense and I understand it's it's hard if you're new to uh, SAS and things like that and Gulp but as you continue to watch the videos and we start building themes and you see how I customize it and use this theme you'll see how powerful it is and how much time saving it is. So I'm not going to go on too much longer in this theme or this tutorial. Uh, we'll pick it up on the next one. Uh, you probably have a lot of questions so just stick in there Watch the next videos and you'll learn it in no time.